Hi guys, in this video, I will be explaining to you how the remainder theorem works. So according to this theorem, for any constant r, if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus r, the remainder, denoted by capital letter r, is equal to f of r. So let's take this example for you to understand how this theorem works. So we have here, find the remainder when 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 is divided by x minus 1. So our r here is equal to 1. So the only thing that we need to do is just to substitute the value of r to the variable x. So we have here f of 1 equals 2. So let's substitute 1 to the variable x. So we have 2 quantity 1 squared plus 3 quantity 1 plus 2. So let's solve it. So we have here so that's 1 squared, so we have here 1 squared that is just 1, so times 2 that is 2, plus 3 times 1 that is 3, plus 2, so we have here 2 plus 3 plus 2, so that is equal to 7. So therefore, when 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 7. So let's have the synthetic division for you to really understand for you or for, for us to prove that the remainder is 7. So we have here, let's use the synthetic division. So let's bring down 2. So 2 times 1, that is 2. So 3 plus 2, that is 5. So 5 times 1, that is 5. So 5 plus 2, that is 7. So we have here 7. So therefore, the remainder is 7. And we have seen that using the synthetic division. So let's try another example for you to understand the remainder theorem better. Okay, so we have here find the remainder when 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8 is divided by x plus 3. So remember that if x minus r, so if this is a minus or negative, so our r, the, the value of r would be positive. And if um, this is plus or positive, then the value of r would be negative. So in here, this is positive or this is plus. So therefore, our r here would be negative. So that is why it is negative 3. So let's substitute negative 3 to the value uh, to the variable x in the equation in the, in the polynomial 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8. So we have here f of negative 3 equals 5 quantity negative 3 cubed plus 6 quantity negative 3 plus 8. So let's solve it. So we have here 5 times negative 27 because negative 3 cubed is negative 27 plus 6 times negative 3, that's negative 18 plus 8. So 5 times negative 27, that is negative 135 plus negative 18 plus 8, that's negative 10. So let's combine them. So that's equal to negative 145. So therefore, when 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8 is divided by x plus 3, the remainder is negative 145. So let's use again the synthetic division to see if our remainder would still be negative 145. So we have here 5, so 0 since there is no x squared here. So that um, we, uh, we will put 0 in this part. And 6, 8. So let's divide it by um, x minus 3. So this is how the synthetic division works. So let's bring down 5. So 5 times negative 3, that is negative 15. So 0 plus negative 15, that is negative 15. So negative 15 times negative 3, that is positive 45. So 45 plus 6, that is 51. So 51 times negative 3, that is negative 153. And negative 153 plus 8, so that is equal to 145. So this is still, or this is uh, the remainder, which we have just determined a while ago using the remainder theorem. So that's it. That's how the remainder theorem works.